welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you a very effortless and romantic, let's call it an upside down French twist hairstyle. I have seen this look on so many celebrities lately and I just fell in love. Just so quick and easy. I thought it'd be a great go-to for any fancier events you have coming up or for the holidays. I know. I can't believe I'm saying that either. But let's go ahead and get started. Real quick, I'm gonna share with you how to create the base for this hairstyle, but you can definitely recreate this with straight hair. Now, I want this look to be textured and effortless, so I'm gonna create really tight curls. This will also shorten the length of my hair, and my favorite way to do this is to work in sections. That way, I can get nice and close to the root when curling. Now, before going in, spray your section with some hairspray and then brush it through. This is going to create long-lasting curls. And for the curls, I'm going to use my favorite one inch barrel from Luxie. I love how long this barrel is. It's just perfect for long hair. Now I want lots of curls. So I'm going to be curling like half inch sections today. And as I'm wrapping, I'm going to make sure to pull the hair nice and tight as I wrap. And this will create more ringlet style curls. All right, about five seconds on, and this is the look that I'm going for. So a nice and tight curl, and then this also shortens the length of my hair, which is perfect. All right, now I'm gonna continue throughout the rest of my head, and this is going to take a while, but I'm just going to alternate the directions of my curls to try to create as much movement and texture as I can. So curls are done, they're looking lovely. Now to add some volume and texture, I'm first gonna go in with the IGK Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo and just spray this all throughout my roots. This will add a ton of volume and a little bit of texture. Now to add textures to my strands, I'm gonna use the IGK Volumizing Texture Spray. I love this beach spray because it doesn't contain salt. So it's not gonna make your hair crunchy, just creates the most like weightless, buildable volume. It's so nice. So here is the hair, lots of texture, volume. It's still nice and soft, but this is the perfect base for the updo. It's going to make it nice and easy. But that's it for hair prep, so let's turn around and start the upside down French twist. Begin by tossing all of your hair back and gathering it into a low ponytail so that you can pull out those face framing pieces to give the look an effortless feel. Now on the right side, start smoothing everything back using just your hands to keep the look soft. Otherwise, you can use a comb for a more sleek appearance. Up to you. Next, comb up your neck hairs and this step helps the hairstyle look cleaner. Now the foundation. Starting at your nape, slightly left to the center, slide either a bobby pin or a roller pin upwards, catching all of the hair at your neck. Now you want to slide this on a slight angle so that when you insert your next pin, you can slide over the ends of your previous one. This will make your pins extra secure and then slightly angle your second pin in the other direction. And repeat this until you've reached the top, but I will link my favorite pins down below for you. And to add to that effortless look, I like to pull out small sections along my neckline that'll curl later. Now for the left side, same idea as before, just use your fingers to smooth it back. Now for the twist, hold your hair in a ponytail with your left hand as close to the base of your neck as you can. Then grab the underside of your ponytail with your right hand and tightly twist it counterclockwise two times while directing your ponytail up towards the top of your head. Now hold it in place with your left hand and with your right begin gently pulling the base of your twist upwards to create that French twist look and you can also pull it outwards to loosen up the style. If your ends are short, skip this step. If not, then tightly twist your ends counterclockwise once while twisting them counterclockwise so that they sit at the top of your French twist and then just hold them into place. Begin securing your twist and I'm using French pins. They are incredible. And if you haven't made the switch from bobby pins yet, I highly recommend them. But whatever type of pins you're using, you wanna start at the bottom, slide them through the outside of your twist, then against your head and push them in towards the middle. Now you should feel some resistance since we created that foundation earlier, but if your pins slide in really easily, just re-slide it in and try to hook your ends through those pins from earlier. This will keep everything nice and secure. And if you prefer a look where the ends are tucked, I will link my French twist hair tutorial down below. Now, once it's nice and secure, you can play around with your ends. I recurled a few of mine and then I just rub the curls together between my fingers to break them up so they don't look too perfect. And I locked it all in with one more mist of hairspray. So there we have it. I can't wait to hear what you think. I love how this hairstyle turned out. Like it's definitely giving me 2000s vibes in the best way. But if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up 
thumbs up. I can't wait to see your recreations. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I will leave it linked down below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.